Consider the function f of x equals 6x cubed minus 10x squared plus 7x minus 6. Determine the antiderivative. To determine the antiderivative, we are looking for the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given function f of x. When looking for an antiderivative, we can also express this as an indefinite integral. If we're looking for the antiderivative of the given function f of x, we can express this as the indefinite integral of the given function 6x cubed minus 10x squared plus 7x minus 6 dx. The dx indicates the variable of integration. And now to find the antiderivative, we will use the power rule of integration shown below, as well as the constant rule of integration shown here at the very bottom. We could write this as four separate indefinite integrals, but we'll just integrate or find the antiderivative term by term. To begin to determine the antiderivative, we want the antiderivative of 6x cubed with respect to x, or the indefinite integral of 6x cubed with respect to x, which is equal to 6 times the indefinite integral of x cubed. Looking at the power rule of integration, notice n is equal to 3, and therefore the antiderivative is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1, or x to the fourth divided by 4. And we'll include the plus c at the very end. And then we have minus the antiderivative or indefinite integral of 10x squared, which is equal to 10 times the antiderivative or indefinite integral of x squared. Notice now n is equal to 2 and therefore the antiderivative is x cubed divided by 3. And then plus the antiderivative of 7x, or 7x to the first, which is equal to 7 times the antiderivative of x to the first. Now n is equal to 1, and therefore the antiderivative is x squared divided by 2. And then we have minus the antiderivative of 6. Looking at the last rule of integration, the antiderivative or indefinite integral of any constant with respect to x is equal to the constant times x, indicating the antiderivative of 6 with respect to x is 6x. And then finally we have plus c, where c is any constant. The plus c here on the end represents any constant, which is why the antiderivative is referred to as a family of functions. Because there's an infinite number of constants that we can use, there are an infinite number of antiderivatives or functions that have a derivative equal to the given function f of x. And now we simplify. 6 and 4 share a common factor of 2. 3 2's and 6, 2 2's and 4. Which gives us 3 halves x to the fourth minus 10 thirds x cubed plus 7 halves x squared minus 6x plus c. The antiderivative is often referred to as big F of x, where again, big F of x represents the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given function f of x, or in the form of an indefinite integral, the integrand function. So again, we can always check our antiderivative, where if we differentiate big F, we should get the given function f of x. But again, to answer the question specifically, the antiderivative is big F of x equals 3 halves x to the fourth minus 10 thirds x cubed plus 7 halves x squared minus 6x plus c. I hope you found this helpful.